uh, go ahead and get started. Um, latest viewer is the uh, CEF updates that went out within the last week or two. I think it was about two weeks ago. Um, and that is, I think, behaving itself. I haven't heard any major issues there. Um, the next deploy is probably going to be either the um, notarization viewer, which fixes the annoying warnings on Mac, or uh, the next maintenance release, which uh, would have the usual collection of uh, bug fixes. We've got some interesting things going on in development that are probably going to be coming out as project viewers soon. Um, one of those is the 360 viewer, which uh, some of you may have heard about. That's uh, That lets you capture kind of panoramic views of your surroundings and looks to be getting pretty polished. There were a few last minute, uh, last minute UI changes going on this week, but uh, I think that should be going to going to QA uh, probably within the next couple of days and uh, then once that gets signed off on we'll put out a project viewer that people can play around with and, and give us feedback on uh, let's see other stuff going on there's the there's the Tracy viewer which is I guess calling it a Tracy view is a little bit of a misnomer. We're adding Tracy for profiling, but it won't it won't be running by default because it you know imposes some overhead of its own. Um, so the the standard viewer that you get on download won't actually be running Tracy, but it'll be a, a compile time option that developers can set if they want to. Ptolemy, do you want to talk about that a little more? Yeah, sure. Uh, like Bruce said, it's going to be off by default. It's not really in, uh, meant for end users at all since they need an actual Tracy server to actually view that profiling metric data, but it should be straightforward to turn on uh, and then you can run your build with that and connect to the Tracy server and get some nice uh, timing data on a much more granular level than we had before, so allowing us to see some potential problems and things we could take a look at in the future for improving performance, so, yeah. All right, and let's see, we've got a couple of other projects in development. Um, there's, one view, there's one that uses the Mesh Optimizer library for, um, for getting better LODs during Mesh upload, uh, and uh, there's there's one that gives people additional uh, information to help manage their performance, um, consolidating some of the performance-related UI in one place. Uh, let's see. I think those are those are the new kind of featurey things. Uh, still have people working on uh, you know maintenance kind of things as well. Um, and I'm not sure what comes next beyond those viewers. There's a lot of discussions going on now about uh, especially trying to improve the avatar experience for new users. Um, so there's there's likely to be, you know, UI changes as well as uh, uh, as well as as well as work to try to uh, uh, you know improve graphics performance and uh, reduce content complexity. Uh, legacy profile viewer is waiting on uh, some back-end work um, and I don't know the time frame on that. Uh, let's see, do we have Ryder? Ryder's here. Ryder, do you want to uh, comment on that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Perfect timing. Uh, of course, you always get called just as you uh, stuff something in your mouth. Uh, let's see. There, the legacy profiles viewer. There are a number of features uh, that are going to require some back end work, 
and that back end work st still needs to be scoped and uh, scoped and scheduled. So I'm, I'm not going to make pr uh, not going to make any predictions about about when we're going to get that in. Okay, oh, thanks. So yeah, I mean, short answer: we we have a plan, but we don't uh, we don't really have a don't really have a schedule when that's when we're going to be able to execute on that. A lot of other stuff going on too. And I think that about covers it. So, what are y'all up to? Any questions or things you want to talk about? HTTP2 pipelining. Uh, I think we have HTTP2 somewhere in our semi-infinite backlog, but it hasn't come up in any very recent discussions. I think it's just kind of starved for bandwidth right now. There, I there's some infrastructure work that needs to go into place, and I've been pushing that for some time. Um, it will be nice having it HTTP2 because we could get rid of pipelining. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's also on the, that's also on the queue. Yeah, uh, you say infrastructure work. Do you mean stuff that's done that we're trying to get released, or stuff that's planned that we're trying to get implemented? We have to get the CDN supporting HTTP2. Okay. Um, and we are stuck. We we are current. Uh, we can't advance. I have brought this up before. We can't advance curl until we've until we've done that. So it it's becoming a hotter and hotter fire on our end. Mm. Yeah. Uh, question about viewer based AOs. Uh, no, nothing new. I. There was, there was an email thread about that that uh, I haven't seen anything new on recently. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm waiting on a response or if someone's waiting on me for a response. So I should go back through that and see see what's going on with it. But yeah, nothing nothing to report right now. That's uh yeah I can I can get you those I think the last time I sent that out was maybe a month ago something like that I know I've done it in in living memory but uh, can try to uh, try to get the latest. I may have only sent stats to Firestorm. Uh, who else is who else is trying to get stats? Uh, Catsnip.
Okay, so yeah, I mean, what we have is a tool that can spit out per viewer uh, stats, and if I have an email from anybody who's looking for that info, I can reply to it with a uh, the stats for the corresponding viewer. So if I don't ever have a request from you, just shoot me an email. Remind me which which viewer you are, in case I don't remember, and I will uh, I will get that to you. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will all work correctly. If anything doesn't, then we'll sort it out. Mobile client, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of uh, stuff going on in iOS land um, to add push notification support. Uh, I believe the the plan is to, uh, and there's also some some additional UI work. I believe the plan is to ship uh, ship out a, a V1 after. We get all of uh, we get all of that working, um, but uh, not not positive what the timing is going to be on that. Uh, question on the Android viewer: We've we've done some work on getting that uh, going, but it's uh, it's been blocked on iOS for so long that we've just kind of put it on hold, and we're we're focusing all the folks who were working on on Android on iOS instead. Um, so once once iOS goes out, we'll uh, we'll kind of revisit where we are with that. Yeah, plug for Rider uh, coming to the content creation user group. Uh, yeah, we'd love to have you. Um, we do get a fair number of server questions that uh, I can kind of defer people to the Tuesday meeting, but um, some of them are, are also content related. I, I keep meaning to put the uh, the content creators meeting on the uh, on my calendar um, so I it's will it's in the SL public calendar so I just uh, I just yeah, start with that and then copy it into my calendar and then have to redo it every so often because the schedule's irregular and it doesn't actually work consistently yeah I uh, I, I think I went to attend one or two and, and it was on weeks that that they weren't happening. I'd actually get quite a bit out of it too, because because I'm banging my head on land impacts. But banging your head on what? Oh, land impacts. But that's completely oh, outside yeah. the subject. That's completely outside the subject here. But yeah, that would be a good topic to kick around at content creators. It's always popular. All right. Well, anyway, uh, getting back to the the TPV stuff. Um, anything 
Any other questions? Did I miss anybody? All right, well, last chance to avoid having to go do something else. <laughs> oh, good. All right, uh, how about search? Uh, specifics, what are we, what are we searching? In a uh, uh, marketplace search or uh, the second life search or you're talking about just bringing up the second life search floater and trying uh, Ryder do you know about anybody looking at search currently? No. Yeah, I, I I have heard some questions about uh, uh, issues with it, and I don't uh, don't have any info. Sorry. I can uh, I can mention that and see if anybody else has uh, stuff to say. Is there particular types of data that it's doing a bad job with, or just kind of across the board you're not you're not finding much? Okay, well, I can pass that along. All right, going once, going twice. Okay, everybody go have vacation or don't go have vacation, depending on your personal circumstances. At least have a good weekend. Bye. Thanks for your feedback.